Hey everyone, and today we're going to be going over a couple bizarre price weirdness and then um, a couple money making methods. So the first thing that we're going to be going over is actually tarantula silk. So as you can see here, you buy order 128 of this, it is only 15k. And then if you were to go and buy flint, you can see um, it takes 32. So 15 plus let's say 65, let's round up. That's still only 80,000 coins, right, to buy the materials I have. Craft it. And then you can go over here and you can insta sell it for 99k. So instantly you just made 19k. Or you can sell offer it. And now you just made 29k just like that. So that's like really high. That's like 20, 30% profit. The next thing that we're going to be going over is um, flint itself. This is super cheap for flint. The last like two, three days, it's crashed a ton. Usually flint's like 2400 per. And it's like down at. I mean, you can insta buy flint and make profit doing what I just showed. You can insta buy both the materials. It's low profit, so I don't recommend it. I recommend you buy order both of them. But yeah, so real easy. Um, the next thing is booster cookies. If you haven't seen, they've got pretty good margins right now. And it's good to sell them if you had a couple, because I think they're going to go down to like 345, 340. Um, and then the other one is catalysts. You can see here they're only 112K, which is actually a pretty good investing price. These are 130k, so they're not quite as good. So yeah, you can buy order these, and then if you want, like for quick money, you can just go in the auction house and buy hyper the upgrades, right? They are pretty cheap, and then you craft them, and you'll make like 20 or 10 to 20k per catalyst, and it crafts in eight, so it's basically like 100k profit per craft. Um, so it's really good. It's really good. Um, and then the final thing is their actual money making method for today that's really easy and it's gonna be crafting books so we have three main books that i have set up for you guys that are the best ones to craft so first it's the basic critical six you know all the tier fours or the higher tiers except for like ender slayer and um you know like sharp seven that kind of stuff so this one's um with sharpness and giant killer and it costs around three mil to make this book um i have all the prices of the items listed here and you can sell it for around seven mil so what you do is you just want to set up a ton of signs and chests, right, with the normal price that you're going to pay. And what this does is that when you're buying them, you want to buy them in bulk. So buy a ton of criticals, buy a ton of lethalities. And why you keep the price here is so that when you're trying to restock them, you know what the average price should be. So you don't accidentally spend, like, usually scavengers 50k, you don't spend 500k on it. Because these items don't have a ton of supply. So you buy all these, and then it's super easy to actually craft, right? You just grab one of each thing. Um, oops. You know, vampirism, thunderlord. You just go through everything that you actually want on a book, and a lot of these are like basically free. Is the fun thing. I got sharpness, giant killer, ender slayer, execute. These ones are craftable, so that's why they're so cheap. Um, oh, that's first strike three. Well, first strike four. And then um, there you go. And then you just go on anvil, and it's super fast. Like you can see how quickly. We're gonna make like four mil in like three seconds. You just craft them all. And you can see how once you already set up the, the chess, it's a super easy like money making method to do in the background. This isn't new, people have always done this, but I felt like it was time to show it on this channel. So you can see there, we just made that for three mil worth of materials. Um, and you can see I accidentally put Titan Killer and Giant Killer on it because I wasn't paying attention. Um, so yeah, you don't want to put Titan Killer and Giant Killer because they cancel each other out, right? So this one is actually this book right here that uses Titan Killer. Um, and so the point with these is that... Did I not put Sharpness on this one? Hmm. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I don't know why I forgot it on the first one. So... This book, it costs three mil, and you use Giant Killer, and um, obviously you want to not put enchantments to cancel each other out, and you can sell it for around seven mil in the auction house. The next thing you do is that same thing, but instead of Sharpness, you use Smite, and then again, you use Giant Killer, and then the final one is you can be a little cheaper, because Titan Killer um, 6, instead of Giant Killer 6, is only 150k, 100 to 150k, and so you can save um, like 500k that way. It's a little cheaper, but you also, it only sells for eight, five mil right now. So it's way less profit, but yeah, that's the method for today. Don't do what I just did and cancel enchantments out. 
Um, if you want to be safe, maybe don't even buy enchantments that cancel each other out, which is just Titan Killer and Giant Killer, and then like, you know, um, Life Steal and Siphon. Those are the only real ones you'd actually want to worry about. And then obviously like Smite and Sharpness. But anyway, hope this helps some people make some money. Um, if you want a quick flip for right now as well for like craft flipping, um, Slime is still pretty good margins right now. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys make some money doing enchantment books. If you want a huge way to make money, um, you just do that same thing, but with tier sevens and then, you know, much better margins. <laughs> anyway.